A lot of you have been asking about how can I loosen or even straighten my curls using henna? Is it even possible? Well, that's one of the questions that I have been asked this week. Our weekly Ask Henna Soak, where you guys ask all of your pressing questions and you may get lucky and I might choose your question and answer it right here on the next YouTube video. So welcome, my name is Khadija. I'm a leading henna hair color expert, Ayurvedic hair care specialist, and I also do amazing henna and jago body art. And if you do though, have a really pressing question that you need answered like immediately, go to hennasoup.com. We have a live chat feature so you can get your questions answered by one of our hair care experts and even ask about henna and jago body art as well. So let's get into these questions, all right? Question number one comes from B Rose and they ask, you mentioned to use rose water on a, the hair on you know daily basis. Is it safe to use every other day? I read on the internet it might disrupt the pH level of the scalp if used daily. That's a really good question. So you can use it daily. I haven't personally seen any disruption in the pH balance that I've noticed. Uh, actually, personally, I do use it daily. So uh, I have found that it worked really well to hydrate. I use it on my skin as well every day. So I'm, I'm really happy with it. I haven't seen any things, but if you are more comfortable using it every other day, you do not have to use it daily. You can use it every other day. That is completely fine. Question number two comes from M Luna and they ask, I actually want to loosen my curls. It's a lot to deal with. How many applications of henna would it take to change my curl pattern? My curl pattern is type four and has medium thickness. Another great question. So let's be 100% transparent. Henna can loosen the curl pattern, but it does vary person to person, curl to curl, texture to texture, because it's just a matter of how easily that curl can get manipulated by the henna. So it works for some people and sometimes it doesn't work. Those who have very fine delicate strands and tend to have like probably curls that are like type two, type three, you know, kind of that range, probably have more loosening than those who might have type four. Like the tighter your curls are, the less loosening I have seen personally. Um, but that being said, if the hair is really fine and delicate, even if it's like, you know, type three and type four hair types, you can see some loosening. But in general, you should see a little bit of easier manageability for sure, especially if you're putting a lot of slip with that henna treatment, like fenugreek or aloe vera powder, you know, that's gonna help a lot. Uh, but I would probably say when you have more of a tighter curl pattern, you probably will only see some type of loosening more like in the three to fourth application. So I hope that helps. Question three comes from Elizabeth Moore, and they ask, would you recommend storing any of the used but not finished powders and masks in the fridge. What is your recommendation on reusing masks and DIY recipes? You guys have great questions this week. So if you have, okay, so not finished powders. So if, you're, okay, if you have powder forms of any of the Ayurvedic herbs, uh, any, any powders, right? They can be stored in the fridge. They can be sealed up, you know, stored in the fridge, no problem. Even the freezer, just keep it away from moisture, of course. So if you wanna use another Ziploc bag or something like that, that will help like, plus it's nice, it's more organized to like just keep all your powders in a bag in case something spills. That's what I always do. If your masks have water in it, the fridge, no, because there's still like movement of the molecules, it's still in liquid form, so it could still attract bacteria. So that's why you don't wanna store any of your like made masks or leftover masks, even like the ones that we have here at Henna Sook, you know, all our Ayurvedic uh, ready to use masks, excluding, remember, this is not powders, this is masks that have water in it. Like we have, you know, about five different masks that are actually mixed in like liquid form and ready to use. And so you don't uh, wanna put those in the fridge. That can attract a bacteria, especially if you put your hand in it and you're using it and you're, you know, you've exposed it. So I would highly recommend that you put them in the freezer. Again, use that Ziploc bag and um, store it right in the freezer. That's going to help preserve longevity and then you can use it for next time. So I hope that helps. Thank you guys for tuning in again. 
Ask me some great questions, please. Post them below in the comments. I would love to choose your question and answer all of your questions that you have so I can help you get on the right path with wherever you need with for your hair. I got you. I will see you next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell so you can get all of our videos and we'll see you next time.